It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th. So I cut it to the High Priestess and the Four of Wands reverse. Somebody knows, they know that something is coming. It probably has to do with a family situation. Uh, Four of Swords reverse may have something to do with uprooting. Um, there's a lack of happiness here, not feeling not feeling content, uh, wanting to be someplace else. We have somebody here that is reflecting, you know, they're observing, they're observing some discord. You know, there could be some family discord, a discord and a commitment. Um, but there's a definitely a thinking, observation, reflection, um, keeping feelings to, the, to themselves. We have somebody here that's keeping it to themselves. They're not in a happy situation. There's some sort of unhappiness here. So there is. We got somebody here that's not happy. You know, they're not happy with their current situation. Um, there's some sort of neglect, perhaps. But the High Priestess is an inner knowing about something, right? Maybe even just like spending time alone, realizing, re-identifying, going through a spiritual awakening of some sort, not really happy in the current foundation, you know, reflecting, reflecting on the current situation. So it's definitely a time of reflection right now. I feel like we have somebody here that's, <laughs> excuse me, I'm still not smoking by the way. It's like they're either shunning the other people or they're feeling shunned, not wanting to participate, you know, just wanting, just wanting to focusing on self. I really feel like we have somebody here that is uh, focusing on themselves. Page of Cups, Seven of Cups. So we got somebody here that is uh, thinking. They're giving thought. They're thinking about their options. They're exploring their options. Right now it's emotional. We both have, we have cups. So there's deep feelings, feeling things deep, deep in deep thought and deep feelings. So we have somebody here that is digging deep. You know, they're, they're reflecting. They're reflecting on their heart's desire. They're reflecting on their options, considering their options. There may be, have, there could be a, an opportunity here for new love or, you know, there's secret. There's something that is being kept a secret because that's what the high priestess does. You know, she keeps secrets. It's interesting because before I started this reading, I had somebody, I was thinking about something that happened the other day. And uh, I had somebody send me a message and ask me something about a relationship. And it was a private message on Facebook Messenger. And this person was in my friends list. And he sent me a message asking me a question about that was none of his business. It was, it was like none of his business. I blocked him. I didn't even respond. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Bye. So before I was, uh, because it was none of his business, where do you get off asking me about my personal relationships? It's really none of your business. And then I was, and so before I started this reading, I was sitting here thinking about, it's funny, this happened a couple days ago. It came up as I was getting ready to do this reading and into my head. So obviously it's part of this reading. It's, it's nobody's business. A high priestess is very secluded. She doesn't share her secrets. She doesn't, okay? She knows better. She doesn't want her secrets to get out to the world. She don't share them, okay? She keeps it to herself. Um, blocked, instant, instant block, bye. See ya, none of your business what I'm doing and who my friends are and who they are. And so anyway, I don't know why I had to mention that. But, apparently I did. It's about keeping your secrets, keeping it to yourself. You gotta be careful who you engage with. For some reason I need to mention this.
Not everybody is your friend. The world reversed. The magician reversed. So that's an abuse of power. The magician reversed is an abuse of power. The world reversed is lack of success. Somebody is in an, uh, and the magician reverse is unsuccessful as well. So this is a, this is definitely a lack of success. Somebody is definitely thinking about an unsuccessful situation. They are, because before that is a seven of cups. So that's contemplating, it really is. It's considering the options. There's a lack of success right here. Intuition is big with the High Priestess and the Page of Cups. Somebody is really listening. They're receiving messages going within, receiving the messages that they need. There's, a, there's some sort of confusion, though, because the Seven of Cups is confused. You know, there's so many options. There's so many choices. Somebody definitely has a lot of options. Um, the world reverse that is flogging a dead horse. It is no success, staying stuck, stuck in the present, refusing to step into new territory, um, resisting, resisting uh, a new beginning, resisting change. Uh, the magician reversed is, again, no success, laziness, powerless, or an abuse of power. Somebody's tr abusing their power. Um, manipulate, manipulation. There's some sort of manipulation here. We may have somebody here that, you know, has some tricks up their sleeve. This is a trickster. This is a con. You know, this, if there is somebody here that is abusing their power, they're not, they're not going to be successful. Okay, there's no success. They're not. They may think they're all powerful, but they're not. Okay, they don't really have the power, okay? They may think they do, they do, but it's an illusion. Okay, this, it is. <laughs> Seven of Cups is illusion, it is. So we may have somebody here that's trying to abuse their power. They think that they're all the, oh, I'm the old powerful one, I'm God. Oh, no, you're not. Anyhow, um, abuse of power here. Somebody's about to... Uh, this person is not very awakened. They don't have a connection. Anybody that tries to abuse their power obviously is in La La Land. But anyhow, the world reversed. No success. Lack of completion. Need to step forward. We have somebody here that needs to find their resources. They need to find their strength, their courage, their ability to follow through, their... Uh, self knowledge they need to they need to wake up somebody needs to wake up they're refusing to wake up some because the magician reverse is not very awakened not very aware you got somebody here that isn't aware they aren't aware that it's time it's time it's time to uh, end a cycle in their lives because that world card is a cycle that needs to end. It does. We got somebody here that isn't learning from their mistakes. They're not. The world card reverse is not learning. It's like you keep repeating. the, the same, Somebody keeps repeating the same lessons over and over and over again. Because they, they refuse to evolve. They refuse to step into new territory. Um, and there's abuse here. There's some sort of abuse. Manipulation with that magician card. It could be a pathological liar. We may have a master manipulator here that is up to no good. Okay, the magician reverse is somebody that you cannot trust. Whoever this person is, they aren't going to be successful in their approach. King of Swords. <laughs> Very interesting. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is somebody that uh, is probably doing the questioning. Uh, this is somebody that is in a position where they do ask questions. So somebody is asking questions or they did ask questions or they're about to ask questions. This is a, this is a truth seeker. It's somebody who seeks information, the King of Swords does. 
uh, but they're not going to be successful because the world card reversed and the magician is reversed. And I feel it's because they're dealing with somebody that knows, probably a high priestess, that knows that there's hidden agendas because the, the magician reversed is hidden agendas. Good try, though. Anyhow, um, it was a very good try. So anyhow, um, we do have, some, and I feel like that, that's what's coming. I feel like that's what come, that is, it happened a couple days ago for me, but I think it's gonna, that's what's coming. I think we have somebody here that's gonna be seeking information. This person is, is has some sort of tricks up their sleeve, okay? Um, interesting, very, very interesting. Temperance reversed. So something is off. Something is off when you the temperance reverse. This is engaging in negative patterns. There's a need to re-examine. There's somebody that is going overboard. They are very unhealthy. This could even be poor health, ill health, sudden, sudden, sudden illness, inappropriate behavior. Interesting. Right next to the magician reversed. Definitely, these are both cards of alchemy. This is, this is some sort of abuse. I feel like we have some sort of abuse here. I feel like, we, I mean, it could be drug abuse, or there's some sort of mental abuse, or physical abuse. I feel like there, or it could even be violence with the magician reversed. There's some sort of abuse here. Something, something could be ending. It could be ending. Somebody may be receiving a challenging information or a challenging message that they don't expect. Somebody is definitely going overboard. They are going to extremes. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Loss of power. Somebody's losing their power. They're losing their power. They're losing they're losing their ability. They don't have any more ability. They're, they're, something is off. We have somebody here that is very unbalanced. Magician reversed and the temperance reversed. Definitely, we have somebody here that is unbalanced, maybe mentally unbalanced. Definitely with a magician reversed. We, we have somebody here that is mentally unbalanced. They, uh, there's some sort of uh, unable to manage feelings as well with the temperance reverse, things all over the place. I feel like there's some bad news that is coming. I just gotta be honest with you. Maybe you sensed this was coming. If you sensed that something bad, some sort of bad news was coming, it's coming, bad news. I do believe that bad news is coming with the magician reversed, okay? I feel like we have somebody here that definitely has some sort of disorder with the temperance reverse and the magician reverse, this is somebody that has a disorder and I don't know, maybe it's even an eating disorder or an alcohol or personality disorder or something like that. Ups, a lot of up and downs, okay? I think there's, when you get the king of swords, there's some truth that is coming. So there's a challenging, and be prepared because there's, there's going to be a challenging conversation. And the world card is resisting change Somebody has been resisting change. They have been, been unwilling to step forward into new territory. They've been struggling with their choices because that's right next to the Seven of Cups. I feel like we have somebody that's really been repeating over and over and over again. They just keep on making the same mistakes over. They refuse to uh, evolve. There's a lack of evolution here. There is. The world reverse and the temperance reverse, there is. And I think that there's some healing that is needed, but we're dealing with an individual that, I don't know, maybe this person has a really big ego. They're very, very cocky. They don't, they don't want to uh, give up. You know, They don't want to give up or something like that. Mm. The star, 
And the star is upright. Now this is a card of hope, inspiration, renewal, heaven, uh, a wish, a wish fulfilled. So somebody has been hoping and praying for something. Maybe they've been hoping and praying to be accepted. There's some sort of wish fulfillment that is coming with this star card. This is some sort of uh, blessing, right? This is a healing. This is this is a healing energy. So there's some sort of healing that is coming. You may have a person that is in a position of authority that is making some sort of decision. I mean, we have the King of Swords right next to the Star card. So somebody is making a decision. Maybe it's about health, about somebody's health. Maybe it's about your own health. You know, because the Star card is a very healthy energy. Healing, healing. Maybe somebody's been hoping and praying that somebody would wake up and get help or wake up because the King of Swords holds the sword, which is a wake up call. You know, and the star to me is hoping and praying, hoping and praying for the truth, hoping and praying that somebody would wake up. There's a lack of awareness here and there's a lack of awakening with the magician reversed. It is. And something is definitely off. There's poor health. There's going overboard. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. I'm just being honest with that world card where there's no closure. There's no closure. Lack of closure, lack of completion. Receiving some challenging information may have something to do with a, I feel like it has to do with a masculine energy. We have somebody here that is very, very frustrated. They're frustrated, they're upset, they're angry. Um, definitely not happy. We saw that in the Four of Wands reversed and now we have the Ten of Cups reversed. That's definitely not happy. This may have to do with a, with a separation. I already said that. Children leaving home or a dying dream. You know, a dying dream. But the, but the, but the Star card is about a dream. Okay, it's a dream. It's a blessing. The star comes after the tower, which we talk about, which is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So this is unexpected help arriving. So there is unexpected help arriving after some sort of, I don't know, I think it's an unexpected ending of some sort. I just got to be honest with that world card reverse. I think it's very unexpected. I feel like we have an unexpected ending here because somebody's very unhealthy, extremely. There's extremes here with the with, with the uh, temperance reverse, and that and you know somebody's equilibrium is off, their balance is off. There's there could be even dizziness. We have somebody here that is lacking. They're lacking balance. They're lacking. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're they're not eating well. There's poor health. There's I don't know if I said it or not, but maybe it has to do with food. There's, there's a need to readjust. There's a need to bring balance. There's a need for um, to take action. And this person hasn't taken any action because the magician is reversed. So there's, there's something that is happening because a, there's been a lack of acknowledgement. So something is happening. There could be a sudden ending here with that world card reversed. There absolutely could be. Whew. Somebody is making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. They're gonna be they're gonna be saying something. They're gonna be they're gonna be, get prepared to have a challenging conversation. There's gonna be a challenging conversation. And when this conversation comes, you're going to realize that something is off. Something is off. Somebody's, and it's interesting that I told you that story. Somebody's going to come contact you and you're going to know right away that there's hidden agendas and something is off.
the devil reversed. Woo! So the devil reversed is tied to a situation. There's suffering, there's despair, there's weakness. You must free yourself from this deep, dark place or things are going to get worse. So this is uh, things getting worse. You may have somebody has, that has some addictions and things are getting worse because they haven't found a way to break free. Whether it's a codependent situation with another person, or it's drugs, or it's food, or it's alcohol, or it's ego, or it's gambling, or whatever it is. It's either you break free from this codependent situation that is instant gratification, or things are only going to get worse. That's what this card is. This could be lead to death. This Any card in reverse is extreme extremely toxic, extremely unhealthy. We may have somebody that has a lot of toxins in their body. I mean, with the, with the uh, temperance reversed and the death card, or well, I didn't say, I said death card, didn't I? But it's actually the devil. So uh, anyhow, I think we have somebody here that is in a very toxic situation, whether it's, you know, the things that they put in their body or it's the connection that they're in, the foundation that they're in. And a foundation is your body. And the Four of Wands is about foundations, okay? Your home and your body is a home as well. So I do believe that somebody's home or foundation is very, it's not good. Okay, it's not good. Their foundation isn't good, whatever, whatever, however it is with you, okay? And you probably know that something is about to happen, okay, to this foundation, whichever, however it resonates to you. Yes, yes, yep. Um, seven of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. That is a dead end. This is unrealistic. There's no growth here. There's a need to go someplace else. There's a need for relocation. We have somebody here that has been investing in something that isn't growing. It's not getting any better. There's no life left in it. There's, you can't water a dead tree. Okay, we talk about that a lot. If it's dead, it's dead. It's time to go. It's time to go where the ground is more fertile. So we have somebody here that is in a toxic situation. This is a very dark place. They have been suffering. They have been suffering. But this is freedom. Okay, if you can find your ability to break free. So, freedom from a deep, dark place, breaking free, reaching a breaking point. But then that star card is maybe we have somebody here that has been hoping and praying. They've been hoping and praying that this would come to an end or that, you know, something would happen. Somebody's prayers are about to be answered, okay, because that star card is here. But the Seven of Cups is a card of consequences. So there's consequences for choices that are made. There is consequences. Somebody is not having any success because of the choices that they have made. There's no success and there's no healing. There's a lack of healing. But healing is coming. It's coming. But it's coming after somebody makes the decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Once they decide to honor the truth and accept the truth, wish fulfillment comes and healing comes from this deep, dark place. So we have somebody here that is overdoing it. They're going to extremes. It's almost like they're not healing. They're not healing, but healing is coming, which is interesting because the star card is healing. The devil reversed a need to break free. Breaking free from a very unhealthy situation. So there is somebody here, and the King of Swords is right above it. So that is a decision that is being made. Okay, somebody is making a decision, and the, their mind is made up. There's no changing their mind. Their mind is made up. Okay, it's like cut. You know, the, severing the ties. That's the sword that severs those ties, those chains. The devil's right underneath it, okay? That's the sword that severs. So there, I feel like there's some ties that are going to be severed just like that. Because something is off. I feel like we have somebody here that is, I don't know, there could even be some hostilities. There could be fighting. There could be violence with the magician in the, in the temperance reverse. Somebody could be on drugs, you know, and things get out of control. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
the police could get called the you know authorities with the king of swords that could definitely be the authority somebody in protective services there's consequences for choices that are being made absolutely hundred percent eight of shields eight of pentacles eight of pentacles in the future so that is that's interesting because this is a boat and you don't see this very often with the eight of pentacles we have somebody here that's going somewhere they're going somewhere very interesting for the eight of pentacles it really is somebody is going somewhere they are this is somebody that is going to be putting in effort they're going to be working hard to create stability to create abundance they're leaving behind an unbound I put, it, I put it right after the emp uh, the uh, temperance card reversed is leaving an unbalanced situation behind leaving a frustrating situation behind putting in a lot of effort working hard somebody is going to be going somewhere and they're going to be creating something they're creating stability they're going to be putting in a lot of work after this they've been unable to manage their feelings They've been in a place of unrest. But this is going in a new direction for sure. One more card. Mmm. Oh my God. Now this came out reversed, but I'm going to show it to you upright. The Nine of Swords. This is extremely stressed out. We got somebody here that is really, 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 really suffering. Giving deep thought to their actions. Giving deep thought to their relationship. It's like they know in their gut that they are dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. They know it and they know that they need to leave. They know, they know because the high priestess was the first card out. So I think it's a time of reflection. I think it's a time of worry and anxiety and stress. Is this the right decision? I feel like there's been some manipulation. There's been some sort of abuse. There's hostilities here. Leaving the hostile situation behind is definite. Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. Ooh. Justice. Justice. Everything turning out as it should. A fair and just decision being made. Could be made from somebody in the justice system. In the court of law. You know, maybe somebody in the court of law is making a decision. Could just be a self though it could be somebody's personal self that is making a decision but this is a fair and just decision so a decision is being made it is a final decision balance is going to be restored this is there's been a very 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 unbalanced situation here we may even have somebody here that is having like hallucinations or they're delusional with the magician reverse and the temperance reverse right together Okay, just saying. And paranoia with the Nine of Swords? I mean, we may have somebody here that is extremely paranoid. They need help. We got somebody here that needs help. But anyhow, um, justice. This, don't, this is unforgiving. We may have somebody here that is very un unforgiving. You know, I don't... It's, it's about the facts. It's about the truth. This is the decision that has been made. It's not about your feelings. So I do believe that somebody is going to be receiving some challenging information. It may seem like it's not fair, but... But 
It's the truth. It's the facts. So anyway, I do believe that this is a rebalancing of the scales, a realignment. You know, if you think about karma, kar and this is karma. Somebody is getting some karma. Somebody is getting some karma for their manipulation, for their lies, for their actions, okay, for their abuse of power. They're about to have some sort of, well, I feel like it's a disruption. I think it's a major disruption. It's either in their body or in, in one of their foundations. Okay, and I don't need the tower card to see that. This is the laws of karma. It really is. That sees straight through a situation. That sees all the lies. So some sort of justice is about to be served. It is about to be served. So we have somebody here that is about to receive some karma. Um... Their poor decisions are probably going to be coming back to haunt them. I mean, I hate to say that. Um, we got somebody here that is in a deep, dark place. They have a lot of addictions. They, have, they are really, really struggling with breaking free from those addictions. There's abuse. There's abuse. There's definitely some sort of abuse. Um, <coughs> Somebody is going to be... Uh, I feel like they're going to be... going someplace maybe it's even against their will because it's ordered maybe it's ordered by a court um i just cut it to the two of cups so i don't know what that means two of cups could be a possible union somebody may be leaving to go work with somebody else I mean, that could be a story here as well. With that eight of, eight of Pentacles is on the outside. That's at the very end of this reading. This is leaving behind an unbalanced situation and, go, and working, obviously, with somebody. Going to be creating a new job or a new business or working with somebody else. So somebody may be making a definite decision to work with somebody else or to work someplace else. Maybe deep down in their gut, they knew that they had to, but there was too much fear or ego or pride or something like that. Um, definitely exploring options and there's been a lack of action that has been taken um, flogging a dead horse no success giving deep thought to the current relationship they're in maybe leaving extremely fast extremely suddenly you know without even saying goodbye so somebody may be leaving a situation with a, and headed towards a new partnership with the two of cups and yes, I do believe that there is a definite decision. This is a departure, get prepared, or an arrival. This is a definite decision being made. So somebody is making a definite decision. They want growth. They want expansion. Taking definite action. So definite action is about to be taken. There's been some sort of abuse. We can't keep going. But anyway, I do believe there's a lack of closure. Somebody is leaving a situation. I feel like it's very fast. It's very suddenly. Um, they've been in a dark situation, extremely dark with the, with the uh, devil card. This is, but the devil is reversed. It's either you break free now or things get worse. So this is freedom. It's breaking free from a deep, dark place where there's a lot of struggle, a lot, and a lot of lies, and a lot of manipulation, a lot of stress. Somebody has been extremely stressed out. There's no money here. None. Only the eight of pentacles on the outside. You know, there's no money. There's, this, is a, this is a loss of abundance staying where you're at. It's hard work to create success. But if you're unwilling to create it, well, hey. That's too bad. You have to work. You have to work. You know, you have to work. You have to work to create abundance. Anyhow. Um, somebody's been really lazy. They've been lazy. Think about the, all the money that was paid out over the last year and a half. And all the people that were so lazy that they were able to, you know, go overboard. And, you know, feed their habits on... You know, 
everybody else's dime. That's just an example. I don't know where that, why that came out of my mouth, but it did. But anyhow, this is breaking free. Okay, somebody's going to be receiving a challenging or some challenging information. They are. There's going to be a conversation. There's going to be a challenging conversation that is coming. Um, but then it, it comes with freedom. Okay, this conversation has to do with freedom because the devil is in reverse is freedom. So there's freedom that is coming. Freedom. Freedom. Good luck.